Hey guys, it's Penadaily here, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Metroid. In the last episode, we defeated Ridley, made it to Turian, and I absolutely did not get my ass chewed by every Metroid to come down the pike. No, not, not one bit. Today, we're going to take on Mother Brain and finish the game. As you can see, we're, we've already broken three hours, though not by much. So, yeah, I mean, if you do this... If you do this and do it better than I do, you can probably follow my path and still manage to reach... Um, reach here in under three hours. You might as well use the um, super missiles for the Zebatite, because otherwise you're just going to be there for a while. So, you know, just... <clears throat> Use super missiles on the Zebatite. And just keep going through. Just takes a few shots. Don't worry too much about getting hurt. You know, there's Health health actually isn't a huge issue just yet. Just keep shooting. Might as well pump all your super missiles into her. I mean. Yeah, she, as you can see, she doesn't do a lot right now. Oh, and now. So, now just start pumping regular missiles into her. You have all the missiles. You might as well use them. Just keep, keep moving. I mean, yeah. See, you've already moved on to the next phase. Because, yeah, this is, this is the final boss. You knew it wasn't going to be nearly that easy. So we wait. And here we go. You want to just, you know, basically stand here and pump missiles into Mother Brain. Occasionally, she's going to attack you. That is a bomb. Jump up, and you can pretty much... <sighs> yeah. You can pretty much, you know, miss the bomb just by jumping. And then she also will attack you with the blue energy balls. You want to, you know, try and jump out of the way of those. Don't worry too much. No, oh. come on. Yep. Mostly you can jump, you know, you can jump out of the way of most things she does, and I wouldn't worry too much about it. Just, you know, do try not to get you know, tagged by those golden beans. Just keep going, keep... Ow. Again, this is not a particularly exciting fight, but, you know. Ow. Okay. Ow. In fact, you might want to just start, you know, rapid firing. Just keep going. And <laughs> just, yeah, this is, this is kind of a boring fight, but the really interesting bits come later. There's a reason I said that, you know, Ridley is really the hardest fight in this game. Okay, yeah, now now that she's lower on health, she's going to attack you with those flares from her hands. Those hurt quite a bit, so you want to be careful. You know, definitely try not to get hit with those. Ow. Though, I mean, still, as long as you've got roughly this amount of... Ooh, ah, we could be in trouble. This actually might kill us. Yeah. Okay, we've got enough, so as long as this bit doesn't, you know, we should have enough, so as long as we don't get too badly hurt before she moves into the next phase. There we go. You do, I mean, you do have to worry a little, but, you know. Yep, there we go. Just keep shooting her. 
You can, I mean, yeah, you can die in this. Okay. We have 380 health, so that's okay. You have to have over 310 health, I believe. Yeah, you have to have 300 health, over 300 health, basically, um, to survive that beam. So if you get to this part with less than 300, you are in trouble. But she comes out of nowhere. Or she, yeah, well, the, the infant Metroid, who, as far as I know, does not have a gender. But the Metroid comes out of nowhere and sucks Mother Brain pretty much dry. Note it takes a lot longer than it takes for most enemies. Okay. And then starts feeding it back into us. This is one of the only times we see that Metroids can do this. But all is not well. Mother Brain's not actually dead. And, I mean, I always sort of wondered, I mean, given how much energy the Metroid has pumped into you, you sort of wonder why it just keeps going. And then I realized the Metroid isn't just making sure to fill us all the way to full. It's shielding us from Mother Brain's attack. But there's only so much it can do. And we get our final upgrade. Probably due to Mother Brain's um, uh, energy. The Hyper Beam. This thing, basically, y you couldn't have it in the rest of the game because it would wreck everything. It is ridiculously hyper-powered. It is the beam, um, incarnation of Roaring Rampage of Revenge. Note that it, for the most part, stops Mother Brain's attack. You know, she died really, really fast. And now, of course, because it's a Metroid game... Okay, she dissolves, finally. And she is, in fact, really most sincerely dead. Yeah, time bomb set. Get out fast. I mean, the, you can, yeah, you can get rid of those things with your hyper beam. Get to the side and just fall down while shooting. Go through the door. Now this bit, it's a bit of a maze. So what you want to do is just come down here and shine, shoot, shine spark, jump right through there. Yeah, I don't usually do that well. You can do it again here. Oh, not here. Uh, you want to go up. Try, you know, spin jump if you can, and thus screw attack, but really, just move. There are no shortcuts through here, you just sort of have to keep going. You know, drop down, and then, you know, come on, come on. And just jump. Yep, the, as you see, the acid is starting to come up. You want to, you know, space jump if you can. But... The, the most important thing is don't fall. Oh, like that. I mean, I'm still okay. Oh, this, this might be an issue. <laughs> Just keep going. Space jump. If you can space jump, do it. But uh, yeah, you can see why I don't really like to. Just go. Just go. You can, you can try and shine spark through here, but I'm really awful at it, so I'm not going to. I'm just going to jump up as fast as I can. I will hopefully be able to save the Dechora and the Etacoons. Um, it, it doesn't matter much. It just gives you a very, very slight difference in the ending. We will see basically how my time looks when I get out of here. You're fine, just, you know, jump, jump slow, jump slow. Believe it or not, you know, your best bet is just not to rush. Don't, don't screw up, don't let yourself fall. Obviously, you know, you can't go in anywhere here. Don't screw up, don't let yourself fall, she says. Just jump up, jump up. Okay, I cannot save the Dechora and the Etacoons. I really, well, I don't have enough time. Yeah, I probably do. It takes about 30 seconds, but we're so close to the end, I'll probably be okay. And if I screw up, well, you know. So you go in here to save the Dechora and the Eticones. 
Now, yeah, you shoot like that and open. They'll get out. You don't have to stay and watch them. Just run. Good. Go. Go. You're going to want to go up. And y y you know you're pretty close to your ship. And you're fine as long as you can get to your ship. So just jump. Good. Don't screw up. Luckily, the bombs are gone, so you don't have to worry about bombing through there to get out. The bomb rocks are gone. Run. And jump. And you've made it. So not only did we beat the game, we got the... I mean, we didn't get the best ending. We didn't nearly get the best time. But we 100%ed it. I hope. <laughs> we 100%ed it, and... We save the Dachora and Eticoons, because, you know, I like to do that. And so, as always seems to happen with Samus Aran, the planet blows up. That's a rather impressive explosion. But there she is, her ship silhouette comes out, and if you look on the right side of the screen, you see that little pink speck that went right off the screen. That was the Dachora and the Eticoons escaping in their spaceship. Yep. Clear time. Three minutes and fifteen second, or three hours and fifteen minutes. That's not bad. That is in fact better than my last run. So now we have the credits. So, Super Metroid. This is, of course, one of my favorite games and has always been a game I've really enjoyed. I'm not as good as it, good at it as some people, and I didn't play it for a long time. But now that I, once I got back into it, you know, it's it's fun. It's well, really well done. It was one of the f last games on the Super Nintendo's life cycle, and really just it blew everyone away. It's the Metroid's. Blech. The Metroid series has not had nearly as many uh, entries as some other series, but most of the ones it has had have been pretty high quality. So, yeah, um, I really enjoyed this. Uh, in the future, I will probably LP Zero, I will almost certainly LP Zero Mission and may LP Fusion, but that'll have to wait. We'll see, you know, how I feel. So. But my next LP is going to be the Minish Cap, and that should start in a few days. I've just got a couple of things to work out. And, and that's also a really fun game. But yeah, I mean, this has, been a fun, this has been fun. Until I started doing this LP, I never actually 100%ed Metroid before. The first time I ever did it was when I started practicing to see if I could get this LP done. I have... Until I started practicing for this Let's Play, I never got that one stupid missile tank in Meridia. So, you know, this has been sort of a voyage of self-discovery for me. Plus, you know, it gave me a chance to talk about some of the things I really enjoy. It gave me a chance to do a lot of Aliens quotes. And I just have really enjoyed this. Yes, all of R&D R &D 1 staffs. General Manager Gunpei Yokoi. Yeah, he was, he was something. The mind in charge of this game, well, the, this whole series, Kid Icarus. Now, of course, we got the second best time. And thus, Samus, you know, removes her faceplate, I guess, or something. Um, if, if you got under three hours, she would appear in basically a black leotard with the stomach cut out. But hey, 100% collecting items. So that's really what I wanted to do, and that's really what was the, the whole focus of this LP. So hey, we didn't do so bad. And that's a you know, pretty short, and this won't in fact go back to the uh, title screen, I don't think. Nope. No, you have to restart to go back to the title screen. And there really isn't anything else um, to uh, show, except now that we've, now that we've um, you know, beaten the game and there won't be any spoilers, 
let's show off attract mode. So yeah, there's also no way to um, save after beating the game. Your save will be forever r at that last bit. So yes, Nintendo presents. Metroid 3. Yeah, I gotta say, the way they did this, they, they did a really good, creepy vibe. And of course, you know, this music. Let's see. So if we just leave it on here for a little while, it'll go into what the old video games, used, old arcade games used to call attract mode, where it basically shows off bits and pieces of the gameplay. That is, yeah, you can shine spark to, this is of course the place with the energy tank that I didn't want to go to until we had the, um, the screw attack. And how on earth did you get there without filling in any of the rest of the map? And it shows off how, how the grapple beam works. I have never, you know, this is... Oh, bomb jumping. Again, something I cannot do due to my lack of timing issues. Bomb jumping is extremely useful if you can pull it off. Oh, right, yeah, beam combos. Uh, those I've never been very good at either, which is why I didn't show them off. Uh, but I guess if you hold a charge beam while selecting the power bomb, you can do a beam combo. And that last thing is something known as the crystal flash. You have to have 10 missile, or I think, oh man, it's been so long. You have to have at least 10 missiles, 10 super missiles, and 11 power bombs. And if you lay the power bomb and, you know, are on it and hold some combination of buttons, I don't even really know how to do it, you can get all your health back. And as you can see, you get to see the s silhouette of Samus inside the explosion, which is also pretty cool. But really, at this point, that's everything. So yeah, you can see, my, you know, my previous run, I, I made it to right before Mo Mother Brain at, at 3 minutes and 17, or 3 hours and 17 minutes. So, but yeah, that's, that's everything. So I hope that you have enjoyed this let's play i will see you next time for the minish cap and everybody have a great day goodbye